Hey, what's going on everyone? How are we doing? We are headed into the facility now. We got a long day of team practices today. So we've got all of our teams coming in. Uh, we have two turf fields. You guys have probably seen it before on our YouTube page. Uh, but we have our infielders come in and then we have our pitchers, catchers, and outfielders come in. And every two hours, we basically have a whole new group of guys coming. So uh, we go six straight hours. We'll have probably anywhere from like six to eight, maybe 10 coaches out there during practice. And we, uh, we split off into small groups. Every coach has kind of got their little station that we run everybody through. So today's one of my favorite days. Not that I don't like hitting. I, I, I mean, hitting is probably one of my favorite things, but there's something about getting the entire team out there onto a field, a nice turf field. Um, my happy place is hitting ground balls but I love, love, love defensive work. And so uh, let's head in and uh, get started. Yeah, hey, back, over. Work on the ready position that coach did. Ready, get ready. Around it, better. Work through it, yeah, now work through it. See how you fielded it and stopped. Keep working through it, ready? Get around it. There you go, better. Ready, get ready, get around it. Work through it, keep going, that's better. Back, 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 back. Right there, ready? Get around it. Ready, ready position. Get around it. Pretty good, keep working through that ball though. You still wanna throw and stop. Let's go, get around it. Pretty good job, ready? Get around it. Okay, here we go, getting around the cone fast. You guys, you don't have to get all the tennis balls. Just get a handful and run back. Good. Here we go. Balls are coming. Get around it. Quick. Quick. Get around it. That away. Kyle's. Uh, both of you guys. Start that way a little. Right there. Get around it. Get around it quick. Hey, two hands on that one. Yeah, it's right here. Use two. We'll do one hand drills, but this is two hand drill. Let's talk real fast about ready position. Coach just went through ready position with each group for like 15 minutes, okay? Does everyone understand that when the ball is going to be struck, the position we want you in is this, right here. If you're a third baseman or first baseman, you can be a little lower. If you're a middle infielder, you can be a little higher. But we don't want you in this position when the ball is being hit. Why do we not want you in that position when the ball is being hit? Yeah, Mikey. Yeah, how many balls in your life have you gone like this and the ball is hit and it goes right into your glove? Not a whole lot, right? You're at least going to have to come get the ball. So if I do this and the ball is hit, now I have to get up and run. But that takes too long, you know what I mean? We're trying to move as fast as we can. So I should be like this and boom, once the ball's hit, I'm off. I'm gonna go way faster than the guy that's like this, right? Now I know a lot of guys at, especially some of you guys at real like 10U or nine or 11, a lot of guys are taught to be ready like this, but we wanna be ready like this. Everyone got it? Okay, so every drill we do, you should do that. So don't go do it over there, and then when you get in line here, go like this, or go like this. That's why we practice it there. So then you take it to the drill. And then when you go over there, what should you do? Right there. Everyone got that? Okay. Does everyone understand today, we're going real simple with the yellow cone. The yellow cone, when a ball is hit at you, we don't just run straight at the ball. Remember what we talked about last week? What side of the ball do we get to? The right. So that's what the cone drill is for. So I start here, the ball is rolled, I go to the right, I gotta get around the cone so that I can work back that way. Everybody got it? So when we do that drill, that's what we're working on, around the cone, not straight at the ball. If I run straight at the ball, now I gotta feel it, now I gotta stop and go to the left, that doesn't make any sense. So we're trying to cut the angle right there, okay? The last thing I'll say, and then we'll switch up. When you field a ground ball, you gotta field some ground balls with two hands and some ground balls with one hand. Does everyone remember what I said last week? When do we field the ball with two hands? 
Yeah, it's in between my shoulders, right here. When do I feel it with one hand? Outside. Outside, very good. So when I'm rolling the ball, and you're getting around the ball, some guys are getting around the ball, and then you're coming in like this, and you're doing this. I want you to work on this right here. When the ball's outside, we'll do that probably next week, then we go one hand, or backhand one hand. Everybody got it? And Coach Vaughn said down there, some balls were hit outside, and instead of going out and doing this, you're trying to do this. So that's what we're practicing on, working. Which balls do I get here? Which balls do I get there? Everyone got that? Any questions before we go to other stuff? Nothing? Anything I missed? We good? Bueno? You guys see the four, the uh, three boxes? There's a box here, there's a box there, and there's a box there. Everyone see that? We're going to go three groups. So there'll be a group starting on this cone, a group starting on that yellow cone, and a group starting on that orange cone. First guy, you're going to sprint as fast as you can to this cone. You're going to have your glove on. When you get to this cone, you're going to put your glove down and you're going to shuffle as fast as you can. Your glove needs to hit the ground. I don't want to see this. Right? We're working on being able to get our back flat and be able to stay in this position as we shuffle fast. Once you get to this cone, you back pedal. And then once you get to this cone, you shuffle this way. Then you go to the end of the line. The next guy will go. Once that guy starts to shuffle, next guy go. Everyone got it? It's as fast as you can go. So here we go, split up. Five guys per box, five guys per box. Go, here we go, sprint, shuffle, go up on the ground. There you go, let them start shuffling and then go. There you go, quick. Go up on the ground, back flat. That away, Deke. Good, good. There you go, quickly, quickly. There you go. Oh, you guys are crushing my cones. Crushing them. Each guy, you're going to go four times each. Once everyone's gone four, stop. Four times each. There you go. Quick, Drew, quick. How do I get it up? That way. Glove on the ground, Seamus. Once you get four, you're done. Here we go. Ready, go. Quick. Shuffle. There you go. Glove down. Yeah. Flat back as you shuffle. Good job. Good, flat back as you shuffle. Oh, you kicked my cone. Coop, get that glove down a little lower. I want that thing skimming the ground. That a baby. Good job, Carson. I want it skimming the ground. Four and you're done. Four and you're done. Give me one line right here behind me all the way to the wall and one line right here behind me all the way to the wall. This line goes against this line. So Jimmy, get down. We're gonna be like this. When I say go, you're gonna side shuffle with your glove on the ground and try to beat the guy next to you through that cone. Don't run my camera over. Once you get through, peel off and come back down and get back in line, okay? Don't go until I say go. Set up, I'll say go, you sprint, you shuffle fast. Everybody good? All right, here we go. 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 Keep your glove on the ground. Glove on the ground. Go. If he's quicker than you, just try to catch up to him. Go. We're gonna split up into three groups. The far group down there. We've got the machine in that corner. We've got the fungo hitter in that corner. Same thing as last week. So we're gonna have a group here and a group here. You're fielding the ground balls. This group is gonna to throw to that base. This group is gonna to throw to that base over there. Got it? All right, move your feet. If the ball's in between your shoulders, two hands. If the ball's outside your shoulders, one hand, okay? Over there, we're doing Ready position with Coach Jack, okay? So first you'll run through a hands routine like we did last week, okay? Chest forward, out front, bring the ball to the middle. Work on bringing the ball right to the middle. Elbows go out, thumbs go up. Then you're gonna do ready position. Real quick on the ready position. If you were with us before, you know this, but new guys, listen up. We don't, as an infielder, we don't want our ready position to be here or to be here, okay? 
we what we want you to do is we want you to be hopping as the ball is crossing the hitting zone. So what I like to do is I just walk into it, I just kind of go left, right, and then I hop, okay? I want to have my thumbs up right here. Got it? I'm in a running position. So when the ball is hit, I can move. I can go left, right, I can go in, I can go back, all right? We don't want to be here because how many balls are actually hit that we don't have to move anywhere? Like zero, pretty much, right? So I'm in position to run. Coach will work you, work you through the drill. Make sure you're doing it in these other drills. Don't just get to the, you know, to live ground balls and just stand like this when the ball's being hit. When the coach throws the ball up to fungal it, I'm right here, got it? If I'm a corner guy, I'm a little lower. If I'm a middle guy, I'm a little, a little taller, all right? Down here, we've got yellow cones. Coach and I are sitting on the buckets. We're gonna roll the ball right at the cone. You're gonna be here. If you're a righty, you're gonna to be to the left of the cone because we're gonna work on getting to the right of the ball. Everyone got that? So I set up here. Uh, well, push back about five feet, keep going. Right there. So I'm right here. I'm gonna go here, he's gonna roll the ball, I'm gonna get around it, field it, and I'm gonna throw it, and there's gonna be a guy there catching it. Did everyone see how I got around the ball? So I get to the right of the ball. That's what we're working on, got it? If you're a lefty, just go on the other side and go to the left of the ball for right now. Got it? Any questions with that? So we'll have a group here and a group here. Those groups are gonna be split in half because we need somebody to catch down there and down there. So if there's six guys, three will be here, three will be there. Three will be here, three will be there. Questions? Nothing? Last group. The other, uh, when you're in this side of the field, the last station is this. This is gonna be sitting like this. Bucket of balls here. Whoever's up first, right there. Whoever's next, take a ball, come here, throw the ball, just like that. It's gonna roll right to them. You're gonna work to the right of the ball, field it, and you're gonna throw the ball. See that accurate graphic sign? You're gonna throw the ball off the wall right underneath that sign. Got it? Once I do this, I throw it there, I walk over, I'm the next guy in line, ready to go. Next guy steps up and throws the ball. Sound good? That's what we got for the next 45 minutes. Okay? Bend to your knees. Bring the ball to the middle. Good. Good. Funnel ball up a little bit higher. A little bit higher. A little bit higher. Kess. Yeah, bring it to your chest. Thumbs go out. Or excuse me. Thumbs up, elbows go out. Thumbs up, elbows go out. Good, stay down there, your legs should be burning. There we go, work to get around the cone. Ready, go, get around it. Yeah, wait to see me throw it first. There, around it, quick. Good, flat back, Jimmy. Nice. Get around it. Good, get that back flat. Get that back flat. Get around it. Yeah, keep it out front. Get around it, quick. Good, left eye, left eye, left eye. Yeah, keep it to your left eye. Chest over the ball, back flat. Keep it to your left side, don't let it get too far to your right. What the? Yeah, Chris, not too far to your right. Get to the right of the ball, work back through it. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Get around it. Get around it, quick. Out of way, good job, Rowan. Around it, quick. Out of way. Out of way, Hank. Good, keep your left eye. What? Yeah, bring the ball to the middle. Quick. Yeah, keep your left eye a little bit more. Get to the right a little bit more so you can keep your left eye. 
Yeah, Kess, just make sure you work right through your target. Don't peel off to the left too much. Good adjustment. Look at the catcher doing it. Get around it. Every ball you're fielding, whether it's there or here, I know here, like here, we're working on more mechanics and stuff, but you still gotta think that there is time involved. So every ball I get hit, I'm trying to take the best angle to the ball. If I'm a middle infielder, right, let's say home plate's that way, I can't just play side to side like this, right? If I just play like this, the guy's gonna beat it out unless he is really slow. Every ball that's hit, I gotta take the best angle possible, right? And that is how fast the ball going and how fast am I? So if I'm real quick and the ball's not fast, I can take sharp, real sharp angles. The faster the ball goes and the slower I am, I might have to take deeper angles. But I can't take deep angles on slow hit balls just, you know, just because I feel like taking a deep angle. He's gonna beat it out, right? So I gotta take, that's what we're working on, on those backhands and forehands. If I go backhand, right, here I am. Ball's hit on my backhand. I start to go this way. And I go, oh man, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there early. I can't just go like this and go, okay, come on ball, keep coming, keep coming, keep, that's too long. Once I go like this and I go, I'm gonna beat that ball, I gotta start coming this way. Right, same with forehand. I start going this way and I go, oh, I'm gonna beat that ball. I start coming this way. I cut it off. Get your left foot past the ball right here. Boom. And now I'm set up to throw. Don't just keep moving into the outfield. Because not only is it taking longer, but first is over there and I'm just running away from first base. That's too hard to throw. I got to cut it off. Okay? So when you go down there, work on your angles. As sharp as you can make them. Okay? All right, get down there. Good, quick. Keep it on your left eye. Hey, work on different speeds of the runner. Sometimes you get it and you got to get it and go right, left, throw. Sometimes you can go four steps. So, so far, everyone's doing four steps. Oh, I didn't see your two yet. There, that's a two. Good, so mix it up. There you go, that's a two. Nice. So do some twos, do some fours. There you go, good. Good. Couple more. Yeah, in your head, in your head, think that there's different speeds of runners. Sometimes you're gonna have to get it, go right, left throw, sometimes you can take four steps. Just mix it up in your brain. Think slow runner, fast runner. You're good, keep it on your left side so you don't overrun it. All right, let's go some backhands. Hold on one sec. Ready, here we go, backhands, get there. If you get there early, you can work through it. Don't sit back and wait for it. Oh, that's an easy one. Hey, that's a nice one right there, Evan. Got around it quick, but he still moved through it. There you go, good angle, Joe. Good job. Back it. Once you know you can get there, start moving through it. Through it, Michael. Good job, Michael. That way, Evan, good job. There you go, Tobin, good footwork. Right idea. There, yeah, now extend them a little bit more, Brian. Will, extend them a little bit more. There you go. Nice, good job, nice. Good. Cho. Uh oh. Good job. This group's looking good. Nice. Okay, after Joe, let's go forehands. Okay, hold it up. Let's go forehands now. If you can cut it, cut it. Get your left foot past the ball. There you go. Good. Cut it off. Get going. Right away. I didn't know you were an infielder. Not at all. <laughs> I can't hit. Well, well, I mean, you can still be an infielder, though. That looked pretty smooth right there. That looks pretty good. 
they ever let you hit at school? Uh, like seven times freshman year, but <laughs> it only took them seven to realize. Put them at a PO. <laughs> there you go. Come get it. Oh yeah. Cut off. Yeah. Now Brian, throw them harder now. Make them go. Oh yeah. Go get it. Yeah. Now extend them a little bit. Will. Yeah. Yeah. Get your shoulders square. Once you get it, get your shoulders square. Good, Oliver. Okay. Get out of the way, Oliver. All of our spectating. Whoops. Cut it off. Nice. Get there, quick. Hey, if it's real far, don't feel like you've got to run with your glove there. Like if you're running, run. Sorry, Evan. Oh, he's giving you some hard ones. Last one here, and we got to switch. Get it, Joe. Okay, let's switch it. Um, pretty good job overall. Couple things, uh, just talking to coach down there. Make sure we're keeping the ball as a righty on our left side of our body. Don't get the ball back here, right? I'm moving to my left, I keep it on my left, all right? When you guys are catching, make sure, that's not just for like shits and giggles time. Make sure you're getting something out of it. I'm looking down there and I'm watching how guys are doing. Uh, I won't go through every single guy, but I see some guys taking it serious. I see some guys just kind of whatever. You know, ball, oh, it's too low, I just miss it. Oh, well, I got another one, whatever. So if it's in the ground, you got to play like it's, you know, game seven of the state tournament, and I've got to pick that thing. It's the only way you'll get better. All right, you do it here, and then when you get in the game, it's easy. I've done it before. But if I just kind of have, you know, whatever, you get in the game, you ain't going to make the play. All right? Uh, down here, pretty good. Make sure that, I'll say this, just watching the guys, right, and talking to coaches, and I was just talking to Juan a little bit over there. Like when I'm watching, like I'm watching for mechanic stuff, you know, obviously we're trying to work with, with you guys on a lot of things, but I'm also looking at how do you guys practice, right? Like there's some guys in here that are practicing awesome. And there's some guys in here that you might think you're practicing awesome, but I'm not talking about results. I'm just talking about the way you practice, the speed, the, like the intensity, the focus. There's some guys that I'm like, oh, that's, that's not a good, like you don't know how to practice. Now, I don't know some of you guys yet, as I get to know you, then I'll tell you soon, you practice shitty, right? Not that you miss a lot of balls, but just like the way you go about it. And uh, not, I'm, I'm not gonna call every player out, but if you're watching guys, like Evan Cabral has stood out to me as somebody that practices very, very well. And I said it, and Juan said the same thing, and we didn't talk to each other. Practices every rep, 100% focus, makes adjustments, we say something, boom, puts it in action, right? Guys that have been with us, everyone knows Tobin, wherever Tobin is, every rep is 100%. There's been other guys that have been really, really good. I'm not gonna go through everybody, but those are just two older guys. If you're in their group or you're watching them, watch how they practice, right? Because um, I don't know where everyone wants to play, if you all, all wanna play college baseball, but when you get to the next level in college, I know in high school, I've seen some high school practices. Some of them are jokes, right? They, nobody knows how to practice. When you go to the next level in college, everybody practices a certain way. They look like those two. If you don't, they tell you to beat it. That's what they do, right? So you've got to so watch them. And like I said, as I get to know some of you guys, I mean, some of you guys I know well and I yell at you. Some guys are new. I'm going to watch and learn. And then if you keep doing it week after week, I'm going to say, Man, that's not a good, you're not going to make it to the next level if that's the way you practice. Make sense? All right, so I got to be honest with you. Um, because when coaches call me, right, so coaches are calling us like pretty much throughout the year and they say, how does this guy practice? I've got to be honest. So if they ask about those two, I say, unbelievable. If they ask me about somebody else, I mean, if I haven't seen you yet, I probably will be nice at first, but eventually I'm going to say, yeah, he's not a great practice player. He needs to work on how he practices. Okay. So that's the number one thing. I got to be honest. Like I, I will talk more in the recruiting stuff. But when a coach asks me something, if I lie and I say, this guy's the freaking best, man, and then he recruits you and you go to campus and you're a kind of a shithead, then they go, what the hell? You said he was awesome. And inside I'm going, well, I kind of lied. I didn't really think he was awesome, but I can't do that, right? So I have to be honest. So just think about that. Cool?